if this is your first time using the budget game in your class. This video will walk you through the basics of playing the game. Let's get started. First, you need to go to the budget game page. There are two ways you can access it. Either click the Play Now button on the student dashboard, or click the Play Budget Game button from the budget game menu. Now that you're on the budget game page, click Play Game to open or reopen your session. Remember your progress is saved as you go. The first time you play, you will be asked to select your fixed expenses. You will be presented with three options from cheap to expensive. Remember that you can change your choices later by clicking the buttons under the calendar. Certain expenses, like your rent or cell phone plan, will incur fees if you choose to break your contract. It takes about 20 minutes to complete one month in the budget game. To advance in the budget game, you need to roll the die. At the start of each month, you'll be asked to build your monthly budget. You'll start by adding up your income for the month. On the side of the screen, you have a calculator to help fill in the blanks. The game will tell you how much take-home pay you'll have after tax. If you get the right answer, this window will pop up. After you review your upcoming income, you'll see a summary of your expected cash outflow. You'll see a list of your fixed expenses and any outstanding bills you may have at the top. At the bottom, enter how much money you will need on other unplanned expenses, like eating out with friends or buying a new textbook. After your expenses, you'll review your savings goals for the month. You'll review how much surplus or shortfall you will have. On the side are dials to help you visualize how difficult it will be to reach your goal. We recommend you aim for 10% of your total expected income as your monthly savings goal. One of the main goals of the budget game is to build your emergency savings fund. You can transfer money from your checking account into your savings account at any time. To transfer money into your savings account, click the Transfer Money button and enter the total amount you want to add to savings. Each time you roll the die, you'll be presented with different pop-up choice cards. Some random unplanned expenses will come up, and your options are to pay for them with your debit card or credit card. When you pay with your debit card, the funds come directly from your checking account. Another pop-up card gives you the choice between a cheap or expensive option and your quality of life score is based on how well you manage your needs versus your wants. So remember to pay for quality where it matters. After you choose one of the options, you'll be asked to pay with your debit or credit card. Paying with your credit card impacts your credit score. If you overuse your card or forget to pay it off on time, your score will go down. The payday pop-up allows you to review your total earnings versus your take-home pay. Click Deposit to have the funds added to your checking account. For the weekend pop-up card, you'll be asked if you want to work extra hours, socialize, do household chores, or study. Your weekend choices impact your quality of life score and your variable expenses. If you neglect any of these options for too long, you'll have to face the consequences. For instance, if you never study, you'll fall behind in class. The last pop-up card you'll encounter are mini lessons on key financial literacy topics. You'll need to read the article or watch the video that pops up and then answer the question to continue. You are responsible for paying your monthly bills and expenses on time. You'll see a flashing icon beside the bills that have been issued to you on the left side of your screen. Your invoice will display what you owe plus any late fees from previous months. At the top of each bill, you'll see when the total is due and the applicable late fees. Enter the amount you wish to pay and whether it will be paid with your debit or credit card. At any time, you can view the transactions that have gone through on your credit card by clicking the credit card button. You can choose to pay the minimum amount 
the total due or another amount. Right under the main menu, you'll see your game scores, which track your credit score, your quality of life score, your outstanding bills, your savings balance, checking balance, and the balance you owe on your credit card versus your available credit. Below on the right is your game score, which is a composite of all your other scores and your net worth is underneath. Under the budget game menu, click on summary to view how you're progressing in the game. You can see a breakdown of your game scores, your net worth, as well as the recent transactions on your credit card and in your checking and savings account. Also under the budget game menu, you can view your banking and credit card statements. Click Game Ranking to view how everyone else is doing in the budget game. There you have it. Now you know how to play the budget game. It's time to practice managing your own monthly budget and developing your personal finance skills. Thanks for watching.